Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. There is a new unpatchable vulnerability in Apple. That's like in your house, a door that can never be locked, allowing any kind of hacker to just come in and steal all your stuff. So in my latest video to this video, I'm going to show you what this means for you, Apple user. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. A newly discovered vulnerability baked into Apple's M series of chips allows attackers to extract secret keys from Macs when they perform widely used cryptographic operations, academic researchers have revealed in a paper published Thursday. The flaw, the biggest thing, and you know, supposedly they're saying that they're working on it, but they said it's going to be a big lift. Now, the big thing is the flaw, which is a side channel allowing end to end key extractions when Apple chips run implementations of widely used cryptographic protocols can't be patched directly because it stems from the micro architectural design of the silicon itself so this is this is a roots problem so instead it can only be migrated by building defenses into third-party cryptographic software that could drastically degrade m series performance when executing cryptographic operations particularly on the earlier m1 and m2 generations the vulnerability can be exploited when the targeted cryptographic operation and the malicious application with normal user system privileges run on the same cpu cluster before i keep going please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button with your big thumb self Let's keep going. Beware of hardware optimizations. The threat resides in the chip's data memory dependent prefetcher. A hardware optimization that predicts the memory addresses of data that running code is likely to access in the near future. By loading the contents into the CPU cache before it's actually needed, the DMP as the feature is abbreviated, reduces latency between the main memory and the CPU, which is a common bottleneck in modern computing. Okay, it is a common bottleneck, just like you are. <laughs> just kidding. DMPs are a relatively new phenomenon found only in M-series chips and Intel's 13th generation Raptor-like microarchitecture, although older forms of prefetchers have been common for years right the sec security experts now <laughs> we all know that security experts they're going to get involved right security experts have long known that classical prefetchers open a side channel that malicious processes can probe to obtain secret key material from cryptographic operations this vulnerability is the result of the prefetchers making predictions based on previous access patterns which can create changes in state that attackers can exploit to leak information. In response, cryptographic engineers have devised constant time programming, which is an approach that ensures that all operations take the same amount of time to complete regardless of their operands. It does this by keeping code free of secret dependent memory accesses or structures. So like I said before, this is a grass root. This is not like something they can just push a button and just fix the vulnerability like in Apple phones. This is, it may even be a hardware situation. So the breakthrough of the new research is that it exposes previously overlooked behavior of DMPs in Apple Silicon. Sometimes they diffuse or confuse memory content, such as key material, with the pointer value that is used to load other data. As a result, the DMP often reads the data and attempts to treat it as an address to perform memory access. The dereferencing of pointers, meaning the reading of data and leaking it through a side channel, is a flagrant huge slap violation of the constant time uh, paradigm so now we enter go fetch the attack which the researchers have named go fetch uses an application that doesn't require root access only the same user privileges needed by most third-party applications installed on a mac os system so that's what i have for you today please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Again, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Stay safe. I appreciate your support. Hit that. Also, put, put your, you know, type, type, type in the comment section. See you on the next video.